Hi, welcome to Easy Photoshop Tutorials. I'm Mr. PSD File, and today we're going to be going over how to use the pen tool in Photoshop CS4. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and drag our image that I got off of the internet, a free stock image of an avocado, and we're going to be using that today. Go ahead and open that up a little bit, and then you want to go ahead and grab your pen tool. You can press P or you can go over to your toolbox and click the pen tool. Okay. So what the pen tool does is allow you to create uh, different shapes, not just polygonal shapes. This is a polygonal shape, just like the shapes that are over here up under your shape tool selection. And it allows you to make a ton of different shapes. Now I'm going to go ahead and get some stuff out of the way that I want to tell you guys. Um, by clicking and dragging the mouse you can create the curve inside of your shape to go around whatever item you wish to be going around um, if you would like to get rid of a, a curve you can hold down the alt key on PC or the option key on uh, max and click your node and that gets rid of that uh, particular shape and you could work with this shape instead okay and that allows you to also continue on and use that note particularly uh, to, to curve it and make it go in the direction that you choose you want it to go. Okay, so let's go ahead and go all the way back now that we got all of that out of the way. And we're going to go ahead and go in and start going around our avocado by simply just going in and turning it and trying to get it right on the edge to where we want it. And sometimes it'll go in and fill and make the curve itself and it gets it, you know, pretty much as close as it needs to be. And you just go around, keep clicking, dragging and clicking until you get it to properly where you want it. And I'm just going to go around here real quickly. Also, there are two different types that we're going to be going over today, and that's the shapes layer, which is what we're using now. And then in a second, we're going to be using the paths. All right. They both pretty much work the exact same. Um, if you have something that you're trying to go over inside of this black area, you could uh, toggle the, the opacity on it by using the number keys and one being the lightest and zero being the darkest. All right, uh, from here, you can also get rid of this little rigid line. You can toggle it on and off uh, by holding down com command or, and shift or control and shift and clicking H. And that gets rid of that rigid line that's around it. And you can toggle it back on by doing the same command. Okay, um, now if you wanna add nodes, you can by uh, right clicking hold con hold control for mac users and right click for pc users and you can go in and you can change this into a make selection uh, uh you can feather it anti-alias it and then you have that turned into a selection of the shape that you just created you can also uh let's go ahead and go back you can also control click and you can uh, turn this into a custom shape by clicking define custom shape and it saves it to your shapes that you uh, have over here for your shape tools and you can name it whatever you choose and just click OK and you'll find it up under the rest of your shapes. For some odd reason I can't add a node here. Or we can add anchor points around our shape as well, or which is considered another node. Okay, so now that we've got that out of the way, that's pretty much all you can do to your shape. I mean, you can fill this by right clicking it as well. Uh, actually, you can't fill this, I'm thinking of the other one, 
So let's go ahead and, and, and show you how you can do the 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 path selection tool. I mean, and it works pretty much the exact same. So we're just gonna go ahead and go back to our uh, original photo. And we're gonna go ahead and select paths. And paths is, it works the exact same way as the other pen tool. And I'm gonna go around this here real quick so that we can get this on the road. Like so. work to where right there does it and sometimes the pen tool can act really really funky uh, but you just have to keep going around and then using it and trying to get the right selection made um, sometimes you'll make the anchor point a little bit too far away from where you want it and sometimes you'll make it a little bit too close all right you just have to go in and play around until you get the right way Okay, now that we have that done, you'll notice that it doesn't fill because it's not a shape layer. It's a paths layer. And with the paths layer, you can you can do multiple things. Um, you can go ahead and right click inside the middle. And we can define it as a custom shape. We can make it a selection just like the other one. We can fill path in it and fill this with any color, background color, uh, custom color, black, 50% white, uh, like so. Um, and then we'll go back in and right click it. And you can also go in and use the stroke path. And you can also use the presets that you have for each and every one of these to create this and make it into a certain way so what we're going to use is the brush tool right now and we're going to go ahead and click ok and you'll notice that it fills the outline with the uh with the brush tool with the presets that you have it on like so all right and we'll just go ahead and undo that and we will click Command Shift H to give our outline right back, and we're gonna do it. Go ahead and right click it again, and you can go back to Stroke Path, and we can simulate pressure, and it gives it that feel like it's been drawn. Uh, and to toggle off the outlines, Command Shift H or Control Shift H, and you have this like so. All right, what I didn't show you, and what I meant to show you uh, on the shapes layer, is that you can create and you can also do this but once you're done creating that and you don't see your your notes anymore like so you can go in and you can grab the direct selection tool and you can go in and you can grab each one of these and you can go in and you can edit those uh, and move them around the way that you want to uh, and unlike the shapes layer tool the path selection tool Oh, if you try to go in and edit the shape that you made around, it's not going to really be able to give the same exact feeling for it because it's going to degrade from the picture since it's not a shape layer and not as editable as uh, the shape layers. Uh, and that's pretty much all the pen tool is. Go in and use it, play around with it. Uh, this allows you to give many different types of custom designs to your picture and add many different types of feels to your picture. So go in, play around with it, have a lot of fun. Don't get too mad and jump on your computer. Uh, I know exactly how that feels. So I'm Mr. PSD file. This has been a quick tutorial on uh, the pen tool. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.